Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. Uh, today we're going to take a look at doing uh, citations and bibliographies in Word 2013. Uh, now, I just have a report here in front of me that's just a sample report I have. Um, and we're going to use that to put in the citations and create the bibliography. Now, the first thing to be aware of is there's two main parts. First of all, you've got the citation um, within the actual body of your report. And then at the end of your report, you're going to have a thing called a bibliography or a list of works cited. Now, depending on what uh, college you're in or university you're in, you need to make find out which uh, type of referencing you're going to use. In Letterkenny IT, uh, we use uh, University of Limerick's version of Harvard. Now, your college might be Chicago or APA or whatever other ones. Now, some of them come uh, by default with uh, Office. Um, Harvard UL, we've had to install separately. Um, and I'll put a link up on uh, our own internal system for you for that. OK, so the first thing you do is choose the right type of style uh, for your referencing. So in here on the references tab in Word, I've chosen Harvard UL here under the style section. OK, once you have that set up, uh, you're ready to go. Uh, and so in this report here, uh, I have a quotation in here now, and I haven't said where that quotation came from. So I just have a tab uh, listed up here. Um, and this is the book here. This book here, um, I got the quotation. OK, so here um, in this book here, it says, that the expansion of tourism in Ireland coincided with the growing uh, importance of landscape in British culture. So I've quoted that within my report in here. Um, here, the expansion of tourism in Ireland. Now, I need to say where I got that quote from. So when you're putting in your citation, you always put the citation in before the full stop. So I'm going to put in my cursor in there. I might just zoom that in a bit better for you. I put my cursor in here just before the full stop. I'll put in a space. Uh, I make sure I'm on the referencing tab and I click on insert citation. And I haven't quoted this source before, so I'm going to click on add new source. OK, now the main thing to do in here is to make sure that you choose the right type of source. So this is from a book. OK, so I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to find a book. OK, and I choose that up here. And depending on what you choose up here, different options or different uh, fields are available down the bottom. So uh, I need to put in the author. I never type it in directly in here. I always click on edit uh, in here. And I need to put in the different details of the author. So I'm going to go back to the website here. And I have the book here. This is the book here. And I just have it up in Amazon to make it a bit easier to work with. OK, so the author of this is W. H. Um, a. Williams. And when I look down a bit further, I discover that the person's name is William H. A. Williams. That's actually the name of the author. So I'll go back into Word in here. So Williams. OK, and William, and I'll just use the H, and I'm going to click on Add. Now, you add them in down here, and you can see once I click Add, this empties up, and I can put in a second or third author. Always use this method for putting in your author. That's very important to do. OK, and in this case, we have only one author. That's fine, so I click on OK. Uh, if you have a corporate author, for example, a company name or a government department, you tick this little box and type in the name there. Now I need to put in the title of the book. Uh, and up here, I'm just going to save myself a bit of... Uh, there it is there. I'm going to copy that and take it into Word. And I'll paste it in there. OK. The year of the book. OK, and it's down here. It should be listed down here. OK, uh, 2008. So 2008, the city. Now, sometimes it's hard to find the city. Um, so I'm going to go back um, to the actual book, wrong tab, uh, and look on the first few pages of the book. It normally shows you in there where it was actually uh, printed. Now, let me see, where is it? OK, here. OK, the University of uh, Monroe Street, third floor, Madison. So it was actually Madison was where it was actually uh, printed. OK, the publisher. Um, OK, I think I have it here. University of Wisconsin Press. And again, I've got to copy it. 
and paste it in there. If there was an editor, if there's no edit editor, you can just leave it out. Uh, and if there's particular pages that you want to put in here, uh, and here it shows you how to actually type them out. I'm just going to leave those bits blank for the moment. I'm, I'm going to click on OK. Now, you'll see that Williams uh, 2008 comes up. That's how it's formatted for Harvard UL. Uh, but actually, because this is a direct quotation, I'd like to put in the page number. So in here, I'd like to actually edit that. So if you click onto the citation and click this little triangle in here and click on Edit Citation, it allows you to put in the page number. So that was page 21 that that was listed on. And you can see that's how it's formatted in Harvard uh, UL. So then you go on and see uh, what else uh, needs to be put in. In here we need to say um, there is no existing website showing all the scenic drive routes in Ireland. Now where did we, that's a fact, every fact needs to be supported by some sort of reference. So where did we get this fact from? This came from uh, a Falch Ireland publication that was available on the web um, and in here they tell us that, um, there's a, that that fact is true. So this is the website that we got it from, so I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to go into uh, my document. My cursor is in the right place. It's in here. And I'm going to click on Insert Citation, Add New Source. Now, this isn't a book. Um, this is, it is a website, but it's actually a document from a website. So I click on that, that option in there. Now, in this case, this was Falch Ireland that wrote it. So I'm going to put in corporate author and just type in Falch Ireland, okay, um, and the URL is the web address. I have that uh, available at the moment, so I'm just going to paste that in there. The name of the web page and the name of the website, okay. Sometimes it's hard to actually work out what these are, and you just have to make a good stab at it, okay. Um, so uh, this is the, the report's name is Wild Atlantic Way uh, Route Identification Report. OK, so that's kind of fairly major on it. OK, so let's go back in here. Um, <coughs> the page is, and you'll type in here, wild. OK. Uh, and spell it correctly. Um, and the name of the website is the Falch Ireland website. OK. Now, the year, you have to go to the document to find out the year. I've done that already, and it was 2013. It didn't actually tell me the, the month or the day, so I'm just going to leave those blank. Any website that you've accessed, you must say the, when you accessed. So you put in today's date, the date that you actually saw the page. So it's 2014, and it's May, and today is the 29th. OK, and down here, I don't put TH, it tells you here how to actually lay it out. Ooh, capital M for me. OK, uh, fill in those bits. OK, the only bits I haven't put in are the month and the day, but that actually uh, will be fine. You have to put in the year. So click on OK. And you can see the citation has gone in uh, directly uh, within uh, the uh, body of the report. So you carry on putting in all of the other uh, citations within your report and then at the end of your document, so I'm down the end of my document now, I want to put in my bibliography. So all I do is make sure that if you're on the home tabs you go to the references tab, you go to bibliography and you click on bibliography and automatically um, the different Falch Ireland, that's the one we just put in available now, Williams, Tourism Landscape, etc. goes in automatically for you. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you.